Hi friends, it's Kathleen and today I'm really really sick. I apologize for my scratchy weird voice but this was my only day to film because I'm actually leaving for Europe tonight so I didn't have any other opportunity and I was really sick yesterday couldn't even get out of bed sick so this was my only chance. Today I'm going to be doing my mini May wrap up. I haven't read a ton of books this month so far but I won't be able to film a full May wrap up until I get back in June so I thought I'd at least share the ones with you that I've done so far as well as actually talking about a couple other things that I've been enjoying this month as well. So without further ado, here we go. So the first book I finished this month was Me and Me, and this is by Alice Coopers, and this was sent to me as an ARC from Indigo Books and Music Inc., so thank you so much to them for sending this to me. And this one, to be honest, I was not a fan of. It's about this girl who goes to a lake with a boy on her birthday, and while she's there, both the boy she's with and the little girl she used to babysit who also happens to be at the lake that day, both start to drown, and she chooses one or the other. But you quickly find out that you're going back and forth between a life where she chose the girl and the one where she chose the boy and in both the other person is in a coma. And you don't really know what's going on at first but then it turns out that she's actually living parallel lives. So it's kind of weird to be honest. I just didn't care about a single character in this book. There were a lot of things that it implied but never really lived up to. There was a lot of just boringness. I didn't think the main character was very interesting. I didn't find her parallel lives plot particularly exciting. So this got two out of five stars for me and I would generally give it a pass. So the second book I got to this month was one that I did actually really like and that is The Trials of Apollo, The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. This book took a little while to get into, but honestly, after I did, I completely fell in love with it as I do with this whole series. I think this is the most fun series Riordan has done in a really, really long time. It's so refreshing. It's so different from his other books that I think it really stands out. And the humor in this is just on point. Apollo is such a different character that he's so entertaining to read about and you don't feel like you're just reading the same story over and over again. And honestly, all the supporting characters in this are on point. I love how diverse this story is. I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. It took a little while to get into, but overall, once I did, I absolutely loved it. So the third and final book I've read so far this month is Maud by Melanie J. Fishbane. And this is a historical fictionalization of the teenage life of Lucy Maud Montgomery, which... If you know anything about me, Anna Green Gables is my favorite book and I've always been genuinely fascinated by Lucy Maud Montgomery's life. I know a lot about it in general so I was really curious to pick this up and it wasn't a bad book by any means. I think Fishbane is a talented writer, I think that her descriptions are really pretty and I think that she has a general idea of what Maud's life might have been like. She admits that this is historical fiction, it's not 100% accurate but I think in general it's pretty good. On the other hand, if you know anything about Lucy Maud's life as an adult, she was very, very depressed. She considered writing to be her only solace. She married a man she didn't love who also was severely depressed. So she didn't have a great life and in the end she most likely killed herself. And there's something about this that feels too overly romanticized. Even the early relationships she has with boys in this book seemed a bit too romantic and a bit not like they would have been in real life. Even if you read her Wikipedia page, it talks a lot about how she didn't really love the boys that much, that she kind of messed around with, that she was less interested in them than they were in her. And I think this book doesn't really acknowledge that much. It puts everything in the hands of Providence for the most part, mostly for the sake of making her a likable character, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But at the same time, it feels like it's hiding something about who she really was. And I know that this isn't about her adult life, that it's about the early years before all the really bad stuff started happening. But I felt like because it didn't really acknowledge that and because you don't get a full picture of who she was, it's a bit sugar-coated. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it, so I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. So those were all the books I actually read this month. The other thing I really want to talk about is S-Town. So I don't know if you guys have listened to it yet, but S Down is a podcast from the same people who made Serial, and it is so freaking good. I almost cried at the end. It was one of those things where the last three episodes I had to keep listening, I could not stop. I was going for long walks around my neighborhood just so I could keep going. It's fantastic. If you haven't listened to it yet, I really recommend doing so. It's just fascinating and such an interesting depiction of small town Alabama life that I really think it's worth it even if you're not that into podcasts. 
The other thing I've been doing this month is I spent a lot of time listening to the Come From Away soundtrack, the Broadway musical, and I'm super, super excited because it's coming back to Toronto next year, so I might actually get the chance to see it. Fate willing, it might happen. Anyway, and then as well, I finally finished 13 Reasons Why, and I have so many feelings about that freaking show. I read the book years ago, and to be honest, I didn't like the book. I thought it was dull, the narrator was boring, and the writing was uninspired, and I didn't have sympathy for really any of the characters in it, but the show kind of changed my mind on that, except for the last couple episodes, because I just cannot deal with the message that you can love somebody out of depression. That is stupid, and that is not what they should have done. Anyway, a lot of people posted their thoughts and given them in way more detail than I can, so let me just say that it was good but it has its problems. So those are all the stories that I've been consuming recently. I hope you guys at least slightly enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!